Hi there, Sharon. Good afternoon to you, too. Hi, Carol. Hello, Mary Lou. I should put my glasses on, then I could read it from the phone. Barbara, I am doing well today. Thank you. Hi, Bonnie. Did I miss anybody? Oh, there's Marion and Karen. Sunny and warm in Iowa. Oh, I'm I'm happy for you. It's a very rainy day. Um, actually, it's been it feels like it's been raining since I don't know late afternoon, early evening yesterday. Came down really hard overnight. Um, but there was a little peak of sunshine, probably about 10 this morning, um, and it stopped raining. So I finished up what I was working on and then got my walking shoes on and um, my uh, headphones and phone, and I went out for a walk about 11. And it, it actually was nice. The sun was not shining then. It was pretty overcast as it is pretty much all day. Um, but I did get that walk in and you know, I am not an athlete, never have been, probably never will be, um, and I don't exercise like I should, but when I do it, I'm so glad that I did, and honestly, today I'm thinking, why do I fight myself on this exercise so much, um, and I thought, you know, I know it makes me feel better, both physically and mentally. And I thought, you know what? It's Mental Health Awareness Month. I am going to do some kind of exercise every day because I know that that is just as important for my mental health as well as my physical health, and I need both. Um, so if you need a little motivation, um, talk to me because uh, we can keep each other accountable. Happy Friday. Welcome to Stamp in Peace with Mary Nave. As always, I'm glad you're here and I appreciate you sharing this live video and um, inviting others to this site to join us for some creative inspiration. Um, I'm using a new bundle today, the Bottled Happiness Bundle, and I've got a great fun fold for you. This is one I've never done, but was introduced to by um, another demonstrator, Kelly Pitts excuse me, Kelly Pitts, through um, a card swap I did with some other demonstrators. A um, couple reminders, though, before we start the project. Our new annual catalog went live on May 3rd. If you are in need of a catalog and you are not working with a, a demonstrator at this time, please message me and I'd be happy to send you a complimentary catalog. I also want to remind you that... Um, the mini catalog goes through the end of June. Um, probably later this month, Stampin' Up! will let us um, give us the last chance list for this. Um, things in there may or may not be discounted, but you'll want to watch for that. So right now we have those two um, publications to work with. So let's get started. I love Fun Fold Fridays. I'm going to flip my camera around now. Please share this live video while I'm doing that. Boy, was I rushing to get ready for this Facebook Live. I got, I was working upstairs, mainly doing computer work um, today, and I got very distracted because I got two Stampin' Up! boxes. One is things I ordered, um, and I have ordered an order that came through yesterday with three boxes, and I haven't even gotten to opening those yet, but I will, I will, probably this evening. Um, but the other box that came was sent to um, gifts that were sent to the um, 2022 trip achievers. And boy, are there some amazing gifts in there. I would love to show you, and I plan to um, in a blog, but I have to wait on that. Stampin' Up! asks us to wait to a certain date to share that so that all of the demonstrators can um, be surprised when they get their package because you know how mail is. We don't all get shipments at the same time. All right, today's featured product is the Bottled Happiness Bundle, a great stamp set 
we've got some larger sentiments and then a few small ones that you can actually stamp on this label and put on the bottles. And then you have the choice of um, some foliage or flowers, these two layer, and I'll show you how to do that. That's what we're gonna work with today. And then this fun little bottle topper or cork as you will. Um, so lots of fun ways to play with this. And then it has this amazing um, bottle punch as well. So all around a fun, fun set to work with. Here is the inspiration. Let me show it to you like this. This is the inspiration for today's card. Kelly Pitts, another demonstrator, made this for our, our card swap. And it stands up. So that's really fun. And when it stands up, it actually, you know, you're getting a good size um, creation that stands up. And then she's got some place to write on the back. So um, before we actually construct the fun fold card itself, we're going to do some stamping. And I'm going to bring in some scrap paper first because I want to show you how, um, well, let me, let me choose two different colors. Um, let's use, and we'll do this one. And I'm, I'm simply pulling these out because I need something um, that will show some contrast, okay? So when, these are the two stamps that I'm going to be matching up. And I would say stamp this one first. And it has a little notch right here. Can you see that right there? That's where the flowers would be coming out of the top of the bottle. So again, this is just for reference. I just cho chose two colors um, that would be easy to see the difference. Now there's a trick to matching up this stamp with the larger one. There are what appears to be teeny tiny little flowers. I'm especially looking at these two. Those are actually the centers of the larger flowers from this first stamp. You know, let me pull this down just a wee bit. And that might be better for you. So when I'm looking to match this up, I'm looking to match these two small flowers right here, maybe that one also, into these larger flowers. And if you get those two, into these flowers, everything falls right into place. All right, now these are not the colors I'm going to be using to stamp today because I want more um, color in that. I will tell you it is helpful to do this in two colors just for a reference so that you can know, because um, we're gonna actually color on the stamps. And that way you have a better reference of what's a flower, what's a leaf, um, do I wanna make some of these things different colors, that sort of thing. So I'm going to just set this right here. And I wanna make sure I clean that off well with my Simply Chamois. Must have in my craft room, must have for any stamper in my opinion. Um, and then I'm going to be using some Stampin' Write markers today. So as you can see too, with the large stamp, I know that anything I have here in this red, this poppy parade, that's what I'm going to be coloring on here. So I am first going to color these little thingies. I don't know what they are. So using our Stampin' Write markers and putting the ink directly to the stamp is, I'm gonna turn this over and make sure I got them all. Yes, if you put it, flip it, and then put it against something white, it's easy to see. 
And then, um, so this is how you would get um, several colors on one um, one stamp. And then I'm going to color these. This is Sweet Sorbet. I'm sorry, that first color was, which day? I think I used the darkest one. That's Starry Sky. I think I neglected to tell you that when I was coloring with it. This is Sweet Sorbet. Right now I'm just coloring all those large flowers. And then we've got these other little pom-pom like flowers. I think I'm going to do those in Daffodil Delight. Notice when I'm using um, my Stampin' Blends or stamp and write markers to color on the stamp. I'm using using the large end, the paintbrush end, and I'm coloring with the side of that paintbrush tip. Okay, I'm going to flip it and see if I colored everything. Oops, I missed something right here. You see how that helps to have a reference and then um, flip your stamp over and look at it like this. Okay, that looks pretty good. And then I'm going to, oh, before because I took the time to put three different inks on here. Chances are very good that the ink I put on first could already be dry. So I'm going to now breathe heavily on it or huff on this. <sighs> okay. And this piece of cardstock measures three inches by four and a half. And I might cut it a little shorter, but I wanted to have enough room. Next, I'm going to work with that coordinating stamp. So this stamp is anything that I've got in green here. So I'm going to use this Parakeet Party, one of our new in colors. I have to look, where's my green here? So I'm going to color basically leaves and stems with my parakeet party. Of course, we have lots of great green inks to choose from. I'm using this one because it happens to be very new. One of our 2022 to 2024 in colors. flip it over and double check. Okay, it looks like I got everything that I want green. And the only thing I left I have that's not colored are the little um, centers of the flowers. So I, now I need to choose a color for that. And I think I'm going to do Orchid Oasis. And do you remember the trick I said to use to match up everything? These two flowers 
or these two centers, they look like flowers, but there's a centers of these two stamps or these two flowers. Blah. These two, what look like tiny flowers are actually the centers of these two larger flowers. So I'm going to just set those down. Oh, pretty nice. There you go. Oh, I missed I missed coloring one of those. Darn it. So this is what I'm going to do. I think I used this. I'm just going to go in here. I haven't flipped it over and looked, didn't I? I thought I had it all. Actually, these red and blue ones, they kind of look like um, they could be fireworks. Kind of fun. All right. Now I've got this ready. I am going to stamp my bottle, jar, vase, whatever you want to call it. Um, let's see here. Okay, looking at this is just making me laugh because a little while ago I read through the comments from Monday's Facebook Live when you all were trying to teach me, reteach me, how to do the mirror stamping, I was cracking up. I was like literally laughing out loud remembering that day. I think it was the highlight of my day. <laughs> but I pers persevered and learned a lot, so that's awesome. Okay, now I wanna jazz this up just a bit. So I'm going to use my Wink of Stella. Sure, it's coming out. Give it a little squeeze. There we go. This just adds a nice shimmer, but it's not too glittery and it's not going to come off. Oh, that's pretty. Let me see if I can hold it up. Oops, hold it up for you to see. I'm gonna give it a moment to dry. So can you see it's shimmering? Eh, not so much on the screen, but trust me it is and it looks beautiful. All right, I'm just going to let this, be sure this dries for a moment. So let me set that aside. And now we'll put together the fun fold part. I'm gonna start with, um, and this is Starry Sky, another new color. I'm going to start with a piece that measures five and a half by eight and a half inches. And I'm going to, let me double check my cheat sheet here. I'm going to score at two inches. and then three and an eighth. Oops, you know what, I'm gonna tell you something different. I'm gonna do, let's do it this way, because you know how I like to flip my um, cardstock over if we're going to be folding in different directions. So score two inch on each side. Okay, two inches on each side. Then flip your cardstock over Again, when I do this, it's because I'm folding those score lines in opposite directions. And now I'm going to score at 3 8 inch on both sides. Um, you may have remembered from tips in the past that the groove is actually the top. When you've got the bump, that's going to be folded the opposite direction. So if you've got the groove, you fold those pieces in. And what I do, here's my bone folder. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Here's the groove. So I'm going to fold those pieces in together. Now I've got this groove. 
I'm gonna fold it the opposite way, okay? Instead of folding it in, I'm folding it up and over. If you, um, if you are folding in opposite directions, it's just really helpful if you've scored that way. Everything just, the folds turn out nicer. They really, really do. So this is the base of our fun fold card now, all right? So I'm going to add some designer series paper right in the center. This measures two inches by five and a half. Then I've got two more pieces of designer series paper. We could go either side. I don't know if I want that. Or this. I think I want the stripes. And these measure one and three quarters by five and a half. I'm going to center them on the outside panels. I was excited to get this, get a fun fold card in the swap because um, oftentimes that doesn't happen. We don't get the fun folds in the swap so much. So there's my base. Now, if you wanted to get real fancy, you could decorate these other two panels. I'm just gonna let it go. Um, now what I'm going to do is I wanna put that bottle right here. So it looks like I have this nice bouquet of flowers and that's gonna go right on the front. I am going to, I didn't want to worry about um, making this too short, so I left it at four and a half inches. It probably could be four and a quarter, but it's a little bit of a squeeze, I'll say. And I had it three inches wide, I'm just gonna trim it down to two and three quarters. I'm deciding if I want to take it down a little more. I don't think so. Um, so I'll pop this up with some dimensionals. Just like that. I want it to look like the flower, you know, the flowers are arranged and coming out of the bottle. I think that looks pretty good. And then I'm just going to adhere it right here. Be careful where you put your adhesive on this piece because you really only want it to be in the center of your fun fold. And if it helps, go ahead and close it up if it helps you see better that way. I think it's a little harder when it's closed, actually, because you gotta hold down those other pieces while you're centering it. And I think that looks pretty good. I think I need a little something here. So, oh, you know what? Where is that? We have new Baker's Twine. We have in color Baker's Twine. You get, it comes with five spools. You get one of each of the five in colors. Oh, that's cute. Or it's going to be cute. <laughs> and I'm just going to make a pretty bow here. This would be a pretty Mother's Day card, birthday, thinking of you, just about anything. And you could you can make, um, you could use any colors for any occasion, perhaps toning down the colors 
Um, you could use it as a sympathy card as well. And there you have that. Another option, and depending on what you're putting here, um, if you're stamping something that's much smaller, um, perhaps you want to put a um, another layer behind this white. I'm going to pull this down just a little bit. To me, it's not quite centered. Okay, that's better. Now, I can go ahead and put this on the back. Um, actually, maybe we want to put a sentiment on the front. I think that would be nice. How about... I'm going to do... I'm going to do sending a little message. And on the back side... I'm going to do something like this. I'm going to stamp this so it's off a little bit. I don't want to take up too much room. But I want to stamp some of these. Um, I'm just going to call them greens and make them green. <laughs> big enough. I'll try this one. And again, I'm just going to be putting my bottle, you know, low here. I'm going to do something like this. And then I'll go this way. Maybe stamp again. Go like that. Okay, so I get some variation in, in the colors there by adding a little bit of the lighter. You know what? I might have gone too wide for this one. I wasn't thinking I should have kept them straighter. Oh, this will work. Okay. So for this, I'm going to stamp the whole bottle. And this I will be fussy cutting because our punch, this is wider than the punch, obviously. The, the, the height doesn't really matter, but the width does. It's very easy to fussy cut, though, with your paper snips. And because... I wanted this to go off of the white paper. We don't even have to cut the whole thing. But I'm going to just to show you how easy it is. It takes almost no time at all. Super easy to kind of keep the same margin of white all the way around. And this is how I'm going to put it on here like that, and then I'll just trim um, the part that is off the paper. I do this with a little multi-purpose glue. Actually, I think I put a little too much multi-purpose glue on there, but I'm going with it. Because it's Friday, and that's how we roll, right? Kathleen, I'm glad you like this set. I can picture doing so many different things with it. Maybe happy wedding or anniversary with wine bottles, that sort of thing. Let's see. When I, th I think the easiest way to trim off something is to flip it over and put your snips right along the edge, the blade of your snips right along the edge. This seems a wee bit tall. I might have to trim off a little. I'm just gonna put it on first. Okay, 
And that shows you too, you don't always have to have the whole image, I'll move that, whole image of something on the paper to look, to make it look nice. I think a lot of times um, it really adds a whole different look and interest if you have things going off of your cardstock or paper. You can see that the white, well, it's not too bad on the front, but I'm gonna trim that just to be sure. I don't wanna see that little bit of white showing through from the front. Okay, there we go. And let's put a sentiment on. I forgot what I said I was going to put on. Sending a little message, I think. Is that right? Yes. And I'm trying to decide what color I want to stamp this in. What do you think? should stamp it in I don't know I love the green I feel like there might be too much of the starry sky if I stamp it with that um, let's go ahead and stamp it in the green I might not like this ah, I don't know if I like that Joy says, do the dark blue. That's okay. That's okay. That, that's our main color. Oh, Barb, be careful. You're under a torna tornado watch. Be very careful. Certainly get off the Facebook Live if you need to. Yeah, Joyce, I think you're right. I think that was a better, better option for us. And... I was just thinking, what if I... I'm gonna try something here. I'm trying to use this bottle punch in a different way. I don't want it to look like a bottle though, so I'm just going to Use my scissor snips again and just kind of curve this end. Give it the rounded end, U shape end. Mm. I could even go like this. I could do this and put a little bling. What I will tell you, you see that it's going just a little bit beyond the edge of the card. The finished card measures just a little bit um, narrower than our standard size. Instead of um, five and a half by four and a quarter, this one measures five and a half by four inches. So because we don't have that extra quarter inch on here, I know that this will still fit nicely in an envelope. So I'm going to put it there. And then we'll just add perhaps a little embellishment there as well. And I'll pull these out. These are our new in color matte dots. You can see we have all five of the new in colors, but. Um, we get um, get various shades of it, of each of the colors. Oh, I like, what do you think? All right, who would love to receive this card so then you could send it on and make somebody else um, 
have a great day with it. If you are interested in winning this card, please type in the comments now, Bottled Happiness. That will help you remember the name of the bundle. Bottled Happiness. And I'm going to scroll quickly through the comments and see if I missed any questions. Joy says, me, me, me. Oh, people are saying they love the new in colors. Awesome. I do too. I think they're fun. They're bold. They're cheerful. I think they work really well, all five of them together, as well as um, work so well with many of our... Um... Yes, Brenda, I did think of that, a message in a bottle. Um, I did not buy the um, plastic bottles that you can actually fill. And I thought, oh, I might have to do that because now I want to make a message in a bottle. <laughs> Great minds think alike. Okay, lots of people would love to. Now you have the Jim Croce song in your head, message in a bottle. That's funny. Um, what else did I want to show you? Oh, I was asked... Since Monday's Facebook Live, um, if I was doing a um, Sweet Songbirds class, I am. Um, I'm not sure. I'm trying to decide what order I'm going to release my next few classes. But no, it is coming very soon. But that made me think I should just go back and show these from Monday. We made double Z fold Songbird cards. Um, this one is going out in the mail to somebody. And um, with that, somebody posed the question. Um, I'm going to move this because you're getting a glare. Um, somebody posed a question. You know, actually, I'm going to flip myself around so I feel like I'm talking to somebody and not myself. So when we did that Facebook Live, or I did that Facebook Live, um, and people loved the stamp set, the bundle, um, because this has a bird builder punch. Um, but yes, I'm excited. It kind of made me push up um, when I'm going to release that Songbirds class to go. Um, so it's probably going to be in the next two weeks. Um, but what I want to get to is somebody asked Diana, and I don't remember the last name. Diana asked, well, is there a way to stamp and punch the um, bird in the opposite direction? And I said, well, of course there is something called mirror stamping. And I thought, oh, you know, I wasn't even going to get into it because I haven't done it in ages and wasn't really remembering the process and I thought, oh, what the heck, I can figure it out. Well, I was struggling, but thanks to all of my Stampin' Peace friends um, who were messaging me, it would have been so much easier if we could be talking instead of you commenting. But I was reading comments and doing the steps and trying to figure out what they were telling me. But it actually got to be quite comical. So if you haven't watched that, um, the replay of Monday's Facebook Live with the Songbirds, um, you have to watch. I just, it cracked me up when I was rereading the comments later, um, earlier today, actually. Um, it just made me laugh out loud. And it also made me very, um, feel very humbled and appreciated um, because, you know, it is kind of hum humbling to put yourself out there in front of people every day and Sometimes I wonder, do people expect perfection? Nobody's perfect. Nothing is perfect. Um, and it's it was good for me to admit, hey, I'm struggling here. Help me out. And how many of you jumped in, helped me out, stuck with me until we got through? So persistence and assistance pay off for all of us. So that's a great thing about connecting through social media 
is that we are able to build connections and share and create together and help out one another. Um, somebody said it earlier on that, um, one of the comments from that day, um, Tony Shaw, I think, said, and he is a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and he said um, how nice it is that we have a community, a Stampin' Up! community where we can um, share and help one another learn and grow. And that is exactly right. So thank you. Um, and thanks for all the laughs I had then and since then. Um, also want to mention that, yes, Wednesday's Facebook Live, I showed how to make a cash card. All right, plenty of room to stick in some um, some of our presidents. My niece Allison is going to get some cash for her um, graduation from Ohio State this Sunday. Um, so I can't. I'm not going to post this to my blog until Sunday, um, so she doesn't see it. Happen to see it on social media. Not that she's necessarily following Aunt Mary, but um, or my craft business. But I still want it to be a surprise nonetheless. Um, the songbirds posted today to stampinpeace.com. Check out the cash card. On Monday, I will be showing a different kind of cash card. Um, and both of these can be shortened and adapted to be gift card holders as well. So please join me Monday morning at, no, Monday afternoon at 2 p.m., Eastern Time, right here on Stampin' Peace with Mary Nave, and I'm going to show you a completely different um, cash card, and um, I think you're really going to like it. All righty. Um, have a great weekend. Thanks so much for spending part of your Friday with me and giving me the opportunity to share with you what I love to do best. Bye-bye, everyone.